In this short tutorial, we're going to enable parchment mappings for our project for Forge 171. Let's see how to do that. Right, the first question, of course, is why would we even want to use parchment mappings instead of just the official ones from Minecraft? Well, the issue is that a lot of methods that we're going to be calling in the official mappings do not have parameter names. Now, I personally cannot stand having like bad parameter names. It's incredibly frustrating to program with that because then instead of, you know, having the FML common setup event be called event, it would be called something like P underscore I underscore 28735 underscore BA, some insane thing. And that's going to be for all parameters. And that's it's just untenable. So we're going to be using the parchment mappings in this tutorial series. And uh, I have two links for you both on GitHub. One of them is basically the librarian, the MD here, which basically says, okay, this is what you need to change. We can take this line here, which says maven and then URL maven.parchmentmc.org. And we can put that into our build.gradle file at the very top right here beneath this. So making sure that this looks correct exactly like this. And then we will make sure down here, we'll take the class path and we will copy this as well. And this needs to be pasted below the forge gradle line inside of the dependencies here, so right here. Then we will copy this right here. And this needs to go below the apply plugin here. So exactly like this. And then last but not least, we change the mappings channel So copy this one and go down a little bit right here. Here's the mappings channel and I can simply paste that in. Now we have mappings channel parchment with a date here. Now the date here might actually change, especially if you're watching this in the future, you can actually check the current version that is available by going to the parchment MC slash parchment. So this is the actual, you know, partial and public repository. And you can go down here and you can see the release here is actually 2021-09-05. We can actually change that to that release. So we can say 0905 and that should also work. Right, and those are all of the modification that we need to do. Now we simply need to hit the load gradle changes. And if I open the build menu here, then you will see that it's going to re-download basically all of the assets that it's going to need to re-download. This once again might take a couple of seconds, maybe even a minute or two or so. Just be patient, let it run through until you get a build successful and then we will continue. If you're getting red warnings or info here, totally fine, totally normal. Don't worry about that. If there is an error, that's way more worrisome. But a warning or info that is red, there's nothing to worry about there. All right, there it is. Build successful in 1 minute and 23 seconds. Now, you might also be getting a lot of those errors. Those are totally fine and are actually expected. What's happening here is that certain classes are actually using deprecated methods. This is simply the compiler saying, hey, that's you shouldn't do that. That is actually fine. And we're going to go into a little bit more detail later in the tutorial why that is okay. And I'm going to explain basically the details of that. But with that, we have actually, you know, imported parchment and we're now using parchment. If we've gotten a build successful, then everything should be working. We can also double check if we open the external, if we open the external libraries and scroll down a little bit, then you can see that right here we have NetMinecraft Forge Forge 117.1 in the forge version and then we have mapped parchment here so then we know that everything is imported correctly like i said this was a very short tutorial but very important as well because some people have been struggling with how to actually you know implement or how to add parchment to their project and this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward and very easy to follow tutorial right i hope you found this useful and you'll learn something new if you did i would of course appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one and i'll see you next time so yeah